Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike Chen. So last week, I, I literally got humiliated. I got annihilated by a huge ice cream sundae. No bloody way. Oh my God, it's falling. It's avalanching right now. Oh my goodness. And uh, just about four days later, here I am at the corner of Pho. I'm about to take on the ginormous Pho challenge. I feel like I'm just a glutton for punishment right now. I, I just, I can't get enough beatings. It's like I took a beating and I came back for more, but I am a little more like, like a teensy bit more confident about this challenge because I love Pho. And the ginormous Pho challenge is supposed to be a combination of three orders of Pho. And I remember back in the days when I used to eat more than I do now, I will go to a Pho place and order two orders of Pho just for myself. So I guess today I gotta channel the young me. The me that will go to Popeye's get an 18 piece bucket and eat it all by myself. <sighs> okay, I think I'm ready. Let's go take down that pho. Now we're gonna head back into the kitchen and see how my opponent is constructed. <laughs> This is this is it right here. This yeah, is two meat. pounds of meat. This is two pounds of meat. So what do we got? We got the tripe, tripe brisket, steak, meatball, tendons, yeah, uh, fatty brisket. Nice. This looks awesome. I'm, I'm excited. This is making me hungry. Here's the noodles. <laughs> are you just are you just gauging by eye? By eye, but it's around like two pounds. Okay, okay, okay. I, I prefer under. Prefer under. <laughs> That's going in. Oh, there's my bowl. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's your bowl. Wow. About two pounds. Perfect. Wow, look at you. Holy cow, wow. on the spot. So it's about four, four pounds. Yep, about four pounds right there. I gauged my opponent in the kitchen. I signed my waiver. I'm ready to take this challenge. I am actually starving right now. I didn't eat all day, which a lot of people would say is not the best strategy, but I feel like this is how I can best tackle it. Like you just saw, two pounds of meat, two pounds of noodles. I think the noodles might give me some trouble, but, uh, but the meat, I almost wish he put more meat in there, because, man, that meat looks good. Here it comes. Holy crap. How come that looks bigger now? Did that grow? No. No. What is this? Nick, did you change a bowl on me? How the this looks bigger? Did this grow? Out? It came out of the kitchen and got bigger. How's that possible? Wow. All right, let me show you guys what this looks like from my perspective. Check out this. The spoon, <laughs> it looks delicious, it smells great. First of all, guys, I cannot eat pho without a lot of sriracha, so sriracha is going in. I might need a whole bottle of sriracha for this, I'm not sure. I'm also gonna put some of this garlic, chili sauce in there. Nice and spicy. All right, I'm ready, Nathan. All right, 50 minutes has started. Right, here's my strategy. I have to finish the noodles first because they're gonna get soggy and nothing is worse than soggy pho noodles, so. And as tasty as the soup is, oh, and that's tasty. I can't be boggled down by the broth. I gotta just eat whatever's in here. Oh, delicious. Delicious, and I got to get the noodles conquered. Meat will always be good. Mm. Love this right now. So hungry. Tastes so good. You know what it needs? <laughs> it needs more so I feel like I'm a little intimidated by this. Because there's like such a big bowl in front of me. But I gotta just keep in mind, it's mainly broth. So the bark is a lot worse than the bite. And this challenge, I'll tell you guys right now, a lot easier than, um, than the ice cream challenge. Because ice cream, after like a couple of scoops, you're like so sick of it. But this is so delicious. And this big spoon actually is really helpful because just grabbing the noodles from this big bowl, it's kind of challenging right now for me. Alright, 
I feel like I'm making a dent in the noodles right now. Although, it might not look like it because this bowl is so big because I'm literally eating out of a real life swimming pool, but... Uh, whew, just to change up the texture a little bit. Sorry, I need more sriracha. It's not spicy enough for me. It needs to be spicier. My other strategy is to eat as quickly as I can. I gotta eat this before my stomach realizes that it's full. <laughs> Get it? That it's full? Huh? I'll tell you guys what, I'm going strong right now. I'm like really hungry, and this is so much easier than the ice cream challenge. The ice cream challenge, after like a few bites, I knew I was in trouble because the, the flavor, the texture was just, it wasn't, I mean, you're not supposed to eat like two gallons of ice cream, but you can eat a lot of fun. I'm slowly trying to make my way through the beef meatballs because they are very filling. Everything's still tasting really delicious to me. That's a good sign. Alright, there's still a lot of noodles left, but I feel like I'm making good progress. I'm going to start mixing a little meat with my noodles so I can get a little bit of uh, a different flavor profile. You know, eating challenges are like a relationship. You gotta mix it up. You gotta keep things interesting. This is a two-way street. I am feeling the noodles in my stomach right now. I feel a little bit, but just a little bit. I'm still good. I feel like I'm at least um, two-thirds way through the noodles right now. It's not slowing me down much because I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. Huh. The foot has apparently brought out the dad jokes from within me. I am worried a little bit about the uh, beef, uh, meatballs right now because they are so dense. Alright, this foot is punching back right now. But I am still on the offensive. Yep, the noodles, actually, are almost gone. I think there's only like maybe a quarter of the noodles left, or even less. But I do feel at this point, I am definitely feeling the formation of a fuck baby. Alright, I'm gonna start mixing my meat with the noodles because the noodles are essentially taken care of. I'm just thinking, where do you even find a bowl like this? Like, food challenges are us? The beef and boss are definitely taking their time. Those things are so incredibly heavy, so dense. At this point, I'm pretty much full. <laughs> See what I did there? But yeah, I'm, I'm really getting there. Oh my god, I found more noodles. They were hidden. It was an ambush. I thought I finished them off already and they came from behind. And this is so unexpected. Oh my god, I feel like the foot just got some reinforcements. I feel myself slowing down. Uh, but there's not that much left. I feel like I took 10 most with the first firepower. But I am hitting the dreaded food wall where things have rotation anymore. I just kind of force it down. Alright. Only one full food meatball left. I'm just going to take care of it. Everything is still boiling hot. There's just so much grog in it. Surprisingly, I still feel pretty good. I love fatty brisket. My favorite meat in the Alright. Alright, I can see the light. Oh. I am sweating. The key right now 
even though I want to, he cannot pause. He cannot get the butt a chance to breathe, a chance to recuperate. You gotta just step on his throat and finish it off. And when you let the noodles soak in the soup for too long, they suck the soup in, so you're eating more. So, definitely, if you guys ever attempt it, conquer the noodles first. You guys, I feel like I'm just fighting from victory. It doesn't look that way because this thing is massive. But victory is just in sight. Oh, the dreaded beef tendons. And this is another stomach stuffer. Very gelatinous, very dense. Super heavy. These tendons are fighting back right now. I definitely underestimated the tendons. I thought the beef meatballs were the only thing I had to worry about. That was not true. This thing was lurking in the ranks, and now it's come on full frontal attack. There's so much of it. Oh my god. They're everywhere. This is all beef tendons right here. Oh, sneaky buggers. They're everywhere. They're in the bottom because they're so heavy. Hold on. I'm trying to finish these. These tendons are the only thing that can stop me from victory today. Oh man. I feel myself slowing down, guys. I'm gonna have to do something I didn't want to do. I'm gonna have to drink the broth. That's the only way really to give the tendons some flavor. But this is also a very risky move. I mean, the broth is heavy. More tendons. Where are they coming from? I feel like there's some Bermuda Triangle portal on the bottom of this bowl. <clears throat> where tendons are just like freaking in for another dimension. Another one. Serious. Where are they coming from? At this point, I'm weary from battle. I'm wounded. But my fighting spirits will not be wavering. Do I look as bad as I feel right now? <clears throat> I can't believe this. I keep finding tendons everywhere. And that's going to be their last line of defense because I am definitely on to my last device. At this point, I need something sweet. The tendon has made my mouth like covered in so gelatinous. So I feel like there's like a layer of fat in my mouth. Oh, that helps to wipe it down. Hopefully, my last bite. It's so delicious. Last little bite. I think I'm done. Stop 16. Oh. Oh, my oh my god. Wow. Oh, well, thank you, Nathan. I won the Fabungus Challenge. I got the shirt. I get my picture on that wall. Awesome. I gotta say, it's nice to bounce back after a humiliating defeat by the ice cream sundae last week. Holy cow. So this is a good victory. The only thing I feel bad is physically. I feel pretty bad physically. But otherwise, I'm really happy right now. You might not be able to tell from my face because I'm crying for tears. So I guess in this video of Mike versus Food, Mike won. Yeah. If you like this video and you want to see me take out more food challenges, oh god, then hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. 